a ball is dropped from a height of 10 meters. After each bounce, it rebounds to 0.4 times the height that it reached on the last bounce. A. How high does the ball bounce after the fourth bounce? And then find the total distance traveled by the ball before it comes to rest. Okay, so just before we do it, let's have a quick look at this animation. So basically, we've got a ball. Okay, and what it does, we drop it. And of course, it's going to bounce, it bounce, 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 bounce. So the path will look roughly like this. So it will start here at 10, go down, come up 0.4 times of 10. So this one will be 4. And then 0.4 times of 4. And then again like this. So this, these will, these, this uh, height here, this height here, and this height here, and this height here, and then so on, will form a geometric uh, sequence. So let's have a look at this diagram here. So here we have the diagram. So this the first bounce is here. Okay, so the first term of this geometric sequence will be 4 metres, which is 0 0.4 of 10. The next one will be 4 times 0 0.4. So this will be 1.6 meters, this height here. And then the next one will be four times 0 0.4 squared, which is 0 0.64. So this one will be 0 0.64. And then the, this is the fourth bounce and we have to find this height here. But the sort of general term of this geometric sequence un is going to be the first term which is 4 times 0 0.4 to the n minus 1. Notice that the first term is not 10. We'll look at that in a minute. So the height after the fourth bounce will be equal to 4 times 0 0.4 of 4 minus 1 which is 3. So 0 0.4 cubed which is 0 0.256 meters. Right, now we need to find the total distance travelled by the ball. Okay, so the ball will travel this distance here. We've got all these distance uh, things here that we found before. So it will travel this distance here, and then it will travel up and down. So it will be twice the, this height, and then up and down again, twice this one, and twice this one. Now, these bounces will go on forever more because this is a geometric sequence with common ratio 0 0.4 and therefore r is between minus 1 and 1. Okay, so the sum to infinity is going to be a over 1 minus uh, r and we note that r is between minus 1 and 1, which is very, very important. So therefore, we can the series does actually converge. Okay, now the first term is going to be 4 metres, not this one, because each of these are going to be twice. So A will be 4, and the common ratio will be 0 0.4. So the total distance travelled by the ball is going to be equal to that first, that 10, and it's only going to do that once, but each of these is going to do twice. So we have to put a 2 in and then find the sum to infinity of this particular uh, geometric uh, series. So that will be 4, which is the first term over 1 minus the common ratio using this formula here. And if I put that on my calculator, it's going to give me 70 over 3 metres or 23.3 .3 recurring meters so the ball that will be the distance the ball will travel before it comes to rest okay so this has been a video to show how to use the uh sum to infinity in a practical situation i hope you've understood and i thank you very much for watching